We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up AUD, USD. We are in a 12 month time frame. Price action last candle to right hand side is a bearish red candle spike up to that high. Could, re, could be retesting that area is coming from, from that high for the last few candles, or that market could be identified a midpoint stop, which could be respecting the second last candle spike down to that low and the fourth last candle spike down to, down to that low. So market can stop at that mid range or drop down a little further before working its way back up. So we already know we're in a range of an area. Current price is sitting at 0 0.66789. So if price pushes up, it can tag the top of that high of the overall structure, primarily the price second, third, fourth, the last candle of the market towards that body area, which will be near the numbers of 0 0.76793. Now, if price action drops down, before price action reaches that area, it can tag uh, the levels of which would be the top of that price action wick or the second to last candle body, which would be near the numbers of 0 0.72030. And if price action drops down from this area here, from price and it drops down further, price can head down to the fourth to last candle solid body of that wick, I should say body of that bottom of that wick, which would be near the numbers of 0 0.55623. And before the market tags that area, it can tag up to the second last candle wick, which would be near the numbers of 0 0.61974. So let's read the market to see what's going on. So if you look at price action, you got to identify, okay, why price action ended up at this area. If we look up towards the high, we can see that price action came from type of some type of uh multiple touches. So we put a line through this area. We can see that the market did tag up for that first, second, third, fourth. So we have a double top. When the market went into this area of this range of consolidation with some spike ups to the spikes downs, market identified a, once again, first, second, third, and then pushed down. So price action is coming from a double top, a double retest and stopped at the midpoint. So it can make it, it can, it can come off the midpoint and work its way up or it can towards the lines that we created. And also that will be near the bottom of the fourth to last candle of that wick. And if it breaks down, it can break out of that area, it can drop down further. But so far, anything within uh, this fourth to last candle, I'll read it as a consolidation to that past form for that market to decide if it's going to break up above the fourth last candle or break below the fourth last candle wick. But a pattern will be identified. If price action pushes up from this area, reading the overall, now if we look at, we see where price is at, now we look at the low where price has stopped red and green, we can see that market is back down to a low before uh, pushing up. So that means market can create some support off these areas and then work its way back up. Even though it broke through, we want to still see still see the breakout through the top of the fourth last candle, the bottom of the fourth last candle. So if we read from the bottom, what happened? So we can see that price action created a first, second, third, fourth. So we have a decline W. The market came back to retest out of those resistance lines that we created first, second, third, and pushed up for a fourth leg. So we have a double bottom uh, that entered into a double retest that entered into a high. So at that high, we do receive a uh, green candle pushing up. So that will be the first leg. So we have in that area, first, second, third, market push down for the double top. And this is why we see, we see another double retest and the market just broke, still hanging out within that area. Now that price action candle is a bearish red candle spike up to the high so it's really a consolidated candle more like a doji style is even within the doji style candle of that second last candle primarily as i said before of that fourth so if the market creates that support we can see that market come off that first second third fourth 
retest and it still work its way up from the fourth to last candle, maybe some of that second last candle wick to push up from that overall triple bottom or double bottom and retest. Now, if not, if that market pushes down from that resistance area, we'll see that when that market broke into that area, the resistance line, we'll see that first, second, third, fourth uh, price actions to retest or price action came back to retest, which can still have momentum to push down with a bearish red candle or follow up with the next candle for a bearish red candle and still lead back down to the support. And then we'll gauge to see if the market's going to break out the fourth last candle towards that downside or work its way back up. Headed down to the six month time frame. So price action six month time frame reading as a bearish red candle spike up to the high second last candle is a bearish red doji. So what this market is reading is that anything within that second last candle is considered consolidation until we see the breakout of that doji. Now a pattern could be formed, it can point into a direction or not. So right now it's reading as a retest. So if we think about this market as being consolidation, so we're looking for the breakout of the second last candle towards the top of that wick of the high or the low. Uh, the market has, so we're just going to read backwards. So read the chart backwards to the high. So when that market did uh, break into that area, it came back to retest. As we can see, it created that first, second, third, fourth, and then price actions to retest. And then it still had momentum to push down, but still in consolidation. So you're waiting for that pattern to form on the six month time frame, headed down to the three month time frame. So price action. On a three month time frame, still reading as a bearish red doji spike up to the high. And what is it with that spike up to the high is just a retest. So if we pull the screen backwards a little bit, we can see the break, the retest. So it's still identifying the first, second, third, fourth retest. Market finally broke out of a double top and retest from the three month time frame. Came back to retest once again, still waiting around to see what's happening. But as, as I said before, Mark's still in that mid range area. So we've got to wait until that pattern's formed to see if it's going to push up and push down. So we are in that area of consolidation. And also being on this three month time frame, let's talk about if that market does work its way up, what pattern's being directed. So price action, bearish red candle came from the low red and green, spike down with the bearish red candle as well. First, second overall third leg and this could be the market where it can re be respected but if so we have to receive a bullish green candle that can engulf the price second third to in to enter that back into that resistance and we'll see that market form that double bottom now working our way to the monthly time frame we have price action on the monthly time frame as a bearish red can do doji style a bit of a spike down to a low so it could be respecting the support so if so, market can be identifying at that. So let's pull back a little bit too, because what we see is price action has came to tag on the previous side. So we can see that price action has tagged that overall low, pushed up to a high, came back to return at the, this will be considered um, that lowest low, second level low. So market came back to second level lows, respected, the second level lows tagged the resistance now it came back to the midpoint now price action is a doji style candle spike down to a low so it could be identifying a pattern so it will be identified as a first second third and the market push up for that double bottom if we see the bullish green candle to follow up walking down to the weekly time frame so price action weekly time frame is a bullish green candle Inside the second last candle, inside the third last candle, inside the primarily of the fourth to last candle. So we're waiting for that pattern to form or at least break out that area to push up to the high, push down to a low. So if it pushes up to the high, we can see that market's creating that first, second, third, and be respected at that area and work its way up for that double bottom. And within that area, we'll see that first second uh, retest with the second last candle price action bullish green pushes up with this candle the following one we'll see that double bottom in that area headed down to the daily time frame still in that huge area of consolidation still waiting for that pattern to form fourth fifth the last candles reading as a spike up to the high so it means this area can be dropping down that market so we just wait for, for the breakout to the top side or the bottom side okay guys this is cam jones fx AUD USD